Oh my god. Oh my god, I've hit my car against the wall. <laughs> What's up muggles? How's it going? It's Sophie. I'm back with another video. Alright, so basically in this video, we're just gonna go for it. Right now, I just cleared up my bedroom. It's looking fantastic. Apart from, I just ate a sausage roll. Obviously, the pastry was a bit flaky. And now my floor just looks like Lord Voldemort's death in the movies. Just flakes everywhere. But, but, oh, what was that? So, basically, a lot of people in my videos have said, Sophie, we want to see the real you. And my answer to that was, you know, the real me is I'm Lord Voldemort's kid. With all my Harry Potter videos, I always put my own spin on it. You know, you get a lot of me in my videos, not just Harry Potter stuff, which you guys seem to love. And about 99% of my life I spend playing Sims or Roller Coaster Tycoon, but there is a little bit that's a bit exciting. And sometimes I thought I'd just make some videos like this. Obviously there's a main topic to this video as you can see in the title and what I played at the start of the video, but around that it's just going to be a bit of fun. There'll be different stuff. Have I made it as like a cool person because I just have like a dollar bill on my desk? <laughs> <laughs> Loads of you guys keep sending me money from around the world. Like, I've never had a dollar in my hand before, so this is awesome. Alright, so the plan for today is to get my car and drive over Harry Potter bath bomb. The only problem I have with this is, one, it's raining. Shock horror, we're in England. Two, there's a lot of muggles around, which may look at me very strangely, but do I really care? Oh my god, a woman was just actually staring at me vlogging. I feel really uncomfortable now. I think she thinks I was filming her. She actually looked like she was gonna do something about it as well. Like, you know those type of looks? It wasn't just a look look like oh it was a look like i'm gonna sort her out all right so i started off with three harry potter bath bombs i put one in the bath ah! like a normal person would the second one i put a sledgehammer to it what and now I've only got one left, and that's the third one. And I thought, why not run my car over it? I kind of don't want to fall out with my neighbours. And my driveway is going to be either green, blue, red, or yellow. That's always a scary moment if you're a Harry Potter YouTuber trying to name the bloody colours of the houses in case you get one wrong and then your whole channel has to end. This is really bad light in here. What? Should we do this? Another update is that I'm actually getting a studio soon. A lot of my siblings are moving out. I'm the youngest still. I'm still at home. Which means as free spaces open up downstairs, a whole room, which I'm going to convert into a studio studio where I'm going to put my merchandise, my fan mail, and I'm going to put all my filming lights, and just have an area where I can just completely destroy it. Like if there's a video like the milkshake video I did which completely messed up my bedroom, I can do that in that space. So that's really exciting. I feel like with these videos where I do a bit of extra stuff around the main content, I can actually show you the progression on my studio. I can ask you guys what you want me to put in it, and like I get feedback each time. I'm going to have like a main wall. I'm going to take my Gryffindor sword downstairs because it gets lost in this room. Like I bet you can't even find it. A lot of you guys are really talented artists as well. Like you see that picture of me, Snape and Lucius. Wait, I'll get it. Like this one right here, I'm going to put in the studio. And I've got a few other stuff which I am. But I don't want to cover it completely like I have a whole fan mail wall. I want it to be like more simple. I might put a sofa in there to chill on. Any ideas that you want me to put in my studio, put them in the comments down below. And sorry if this video feels a bit like lots of updates. But one question I get asked so much on my channel. Like there are so many comments on it is, how is Dawkins doing? If you guys don't know, I've got a pet tortoise called Dawkins. He's a tortoise, not a turtle. And basically his nickname is Lord. Voldemort and everyone always asks how he's doing because I never really show him that much so here's a little quick peek of what Dawkins is doing there we go guys for everyone asking How's Dawkins? He's good. He's just having a little nap. So here is the bath bomb, guys. If you don't know how these work, basically inside of here, there is one of four colours. And depending on what colour it is, it depends on what Hogwarts house you are. I remember the previous ones I got when I was doing it in the bath, I got red. When I did it against the sledgehammer, I got blue. And now this one, I have no idea. Hopefully they've shared them out and it either is Hufflepuff or Slytherin. I haven't had a Slytherin one yet, which is very devastating for me. But what kind of muggle puts their house down to what bath bomb you get? I don't know. But I thought it'd be funny to find out. I'm just hoping right now that this bath bomb doesn't mess up like my tires or anything i don't think it could you know but let's just go for it bath bomb versus my car i don't know what this shot's gonna be like because obviously i'm let me out the door obviously i'm by myself hopefully there's no muggles that walk past Apparently, if you're a YouTuber, you should actually cover up your number plates for some bizarre reason. But obviously, I'm not very good at editing, so I didn't know how to blur it. So I actually gone and got some cardboard and stuck it over there. If you guys wonder what that is, I did it. I didn't even know why I need to do that, but I did it just in case. Let's take this bad boy. Just had a thought. Is this just going to roll down the hill? Oh my god, oh my god. I don't know if any of you guys heard that massive bang, but I kind of hit my car against the wall. 
I had one job and the bath bomb didn't even work. This is an absolute fail. There's a car that's just pulled up. <laughs> I don't know if that even picked up on camera, but I smashed it. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now. All right, so this is kind of similar to what happened during the sledgehammer one. I ran over it, but I didn't run over the thing that releases the blue. I guess if I go over that, that's what would gave me blue. So I got Ravenclaw again. That's two Ravenclaw, one Gryffindor. And here's what happened to my car. I don't know if you can see, but like, this is the wall. I don't know if that bumper was off already. Might have been. But look at the wall. I've hit it so hard. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to try again and go over that little blue thing. This is what should have happened before, but amongst that, it's a whole piece here. Complete fail. Give it a thumbs up for ruining my car. That was something else. I'm actually so excited to see if that actually made a big bang. In my car, I thought, that's a bit of a big bang for a bath bomb. Like, I didn't put the two together. I thought, I actually generally, that noise was for the bath bomb, but then I thought, why would the bath bomb be on the right side of the car when I had it on the left wheel? And yeah, that happened. Absolute fail. Bath bomb didn't explode. My car's broke, but this is what YouTube is. I'm gonna watch it back right now and see what it was like. So I've watched it back and the way the car goes I'm just happy I got that on film to be honest. If you guys always wondered, Sophie, what you like as a driver, that's what it is. All right, anyway, what else should I do? Basically, if you guys are wondering why it says dog running free, I, I don't actually own a dog. It was some sort of joke that I was playing with my sister. This used to be my sister's room. Just ignore that. This room sort of turned into like my mum's ironing room, but also like the post office. Got a lot of fan mail here. I might just grab a random package out of there and put in a video. Maybe I'll start a little segment. Turn the light on. Alright, so basically we've got this random bit of fan mail. Hey, hi in there. That's my little art piece I did for school. So I just picked up a random one out of that box. See what's in here. Yeah. Alright, so in here we have got... Oh, a little picture of me. That is freaking cute. We got... I don't know what this is, but it's... That's cute as well, to be honest. I find the weirdest things cute. Oh, we've got a picture of Bellatrix and the Strain. We've got a penguin. And then we got a letter. This is from Sophia. She's 11 years old and she loved my video. Please keep doing the fun videos. Well, Sophia, I did a very fun video today. I crashed my car. Fantastic. Your favourite character is Tonks and you hate Umbridge. Well, guess what, Sophia? So do I. A lot of people always ask me, like, Sophia, you're going to get an Umbridge pop. I don't think I could ever bring myself to buy that pop. If I did, I would definitely make it into a video. Either like setting fire to her or maybe run her over in my car. I don't know. What do you want me to do to the Umbridge pop? Or like I should just collect loads of Umbridge merch and just destroy it all. Like run it over, set fire to it, sledgehammer it. All the classic Sophie Baker moves. But thank you so much for the fan mail, Sophia. All this little bit here is actually going to be moving into my studio. So like, like here we've got like my bookmarks. If you guys want to get your hands on one of these, the link is in the description down below. we got business cards here. <laughs> Like, I've got business cards. I haven't got money. Like, I can do that thing, what, what the cool people do. Everyone's always asked me, Sophie, when are these beanies going back in stock? Soon, I promise. They should be on their way any day now. I've got some of these classic ones, and I've actually got a whole new design. But those will be coming very soon, and I'll let you know in the video when they do go up, because I know so many of you guys are waiting for them. Right now, I'm always online looking for stuff for my studio. If there's any cool ideas you've got, let me know. If there's any, like, cool stuff, like, sometimes I just search up random stuff, like, I brought those bath bombs. If there's any other weird stuff that you want me to buy to do in a video. I'm actually really excited to, like, show, like, the making of my studio on these videos. Those of you guys are YouTubers yourself. Those of you guys love me designing my room. Like, imagine if I filmed this room from the start, like a progression of how it got from nothing to this. And I feel like that's what's going to be like my studio. And I love to watch back myself, my building of the studio. Because obviously I'm going to put my spin on a lot of stuff. I'm going to have your guys' stuff. And it's just going to be like a really cool room, which is just me. All me in one room. This room is obviously all me. But like the studio is like a completely different space as well because it's YouTube space. And I was really excited for it. So, so yeah, probably just chill for the rest of the day. Probably play some Roller Coaster Tycoon. Edit up this video and try and get it up to you guys as soon as possible. In the comments down below, please let me know what you think of these videos. Like I had the main part of the video still here, but if I filmed that just alone in the video, that video would have been like two minutes long. And a lot of you guys said like I want extra Sophie content. Like this is what you want. Obviously, I'm not gonna be in the house every day. I could take my camera out and about like a wizard in a muggle world. I'm very weird when I go outside. I never really go outside. But if I do, I would take you guys with me. 
I won't do this on like every single video. Some videos are fine by themselves, but the ones that need extra, I can put extra in there. And like our relationship can be a lot better because you follow my life more. And I can update you guys more. And you can see the progression of stuff. Like there's a lot of exciting things to come. Nothing's gonna change. I'm still gonna make Harry Potter videos. Their videos are exactly the same. They're just more. But anyway, I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for my car. I don't know what state it is in. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. If you guys don't know the name of my car, it actually is Snape. It's got a few stickers on the outside on the back. I didn't actually show the back of the car. It's actually got an I Heart Snape sticker on the back. Maybe if you guys want me to, give it a big thumbs up and I'll do a car tour because the inside I've like pimped out myself. The back of it I've pimped out myself. You only saw like the front of it, but it's a really cute car. And I got about 50 air fresheners. I'm addicted to collecting car air fresheners. Is that weird? But hopefully Snape's gonna be okay. I'm also gonna clear up that sausage roll right there. You know, get Lord Voldemort's dead body remains off my floor. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Harry Potter videos and to help me get to 100k subscribers. In the comments down below, let me know what you thought of this video. We're taking over the world, guys. Let's do this. I love you guys so much and I'll see you soon with another video. Bye. And well, hey, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you for watching right up to the end. I like you. You're not a muggle. Make sure you watch my latest video by clicking here. Of course, you click subscribe to my channel by clicking here and watch any future Harry Potter videos that I come up with. And in the description down below, you'll find my social media links and you may find a bit of merchandise from me. I love you guys. And yeah, I'll see you in my next Harry Potter video. Adios. Whoa, she disappeared. <laughs>